Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm in LaGrange, Kentucky today to do a walk around on this beautiful, fully loaded 2023 Grand Design Imagine 2500 RL travel trailer. Overall exterior length is 29 feet, 10 inches. The exterior height to the upgraded 15,000 BTU AC unit is 11 feet, 1 inch. And the unloaded vehicle weight when it came off the assembly line or the dry weight is exactly 6,060 pounds. And I'll try to show that little sticker that told me that on the back side. Before we go in, it does have the more ride step above system. This is the one you want, nice clean look. It folds up inside the door. Nice clean look when you're traveling. This camper was purchased about five months ago, six months ago, and the priorities have changed for the owners, and they obviously are the original owners. So and this trailer is 100% excellent condition. And I will try to justify that in the video. Kind of give you an idea of the floor plan here. Let's work my way up front and then kind of go into detail, working my way to the back to the rear living room. Queen bed, queen bed has been upgraded. This is the bamboo mattress and you can get them online but definitely a nice upgrade from the factory mattress that came with it the owners do have the factory mattress it's in a bag in their garage so you'll get two mattresses 110 outlets on each side of the bed with charging ports for charging smart devices kind of zoom in there a little blue light tells you smart device charging nice reader lights and these do change color and let's go ahead and show it you get the idea nice padded headboard by the way and you do have closets on each side of the bed lots of drawers storage space for clothes odds and ends I do check all campers for water damage this camper has been stored in a covered storage and I'll try to show that when we go outside kind of back around here on the other side and show you that barn door which uh, imagine did a great job on for the privacy from the bedroom into the huge walkthrough bath double door entry that's a big deal for convenience ducted AC ducted heat all throughout Easy access to your converter, which is your breaker box too. When there's your heat ducting all throughout and you are ducted into the underbelly. So this is basically rated at 15 degrees. And I'll go into more into the Arctic insulation package that this has. China toilet, foot flush China toilet, porcelain toilet skylight in the shower and you do have the squeegee door for the shower which is nice and you have cubby space behind the toilet huge counter space by the way in the bathroom and this is that foil wrap stuff medicine cabinet not just a mirror and yes huge huge walk through bath another barn door for privacy from the bathroom into the living room and this is let's start off in the living room on the slide out this is uh, not exactly a super slide but the slide out is probably about 10 maybe uh, 11 feet long and it's about three foot deep accommodates the 12 volt 10 cubic foot Furion refrigerator And also the huge U-shaped boot dinette. And this table, again, it's the foil wrap stuff. This table collapses down and makes into a pretty decent sized bed for a booth uh, dinette. Uh, you can definitely sleep two adults comfortably on this. And you do have, it's like an Audubon. See if I can kind of show that. And uh, this pulls out. So you can just have a regular boot dinette or in this case, just do the U-shaped boot dinette for more seating. 
and you can actually flip these cushions over so if you want the ultra vinyl that gray ultra vinyl finish for maybe uh, kiddos who are getting kind of messy that way it's easy to clean up and it won't stain up your um, your fabrics but these are stain resistant and another 110 or I'm sorry uh, smart device charging station there you do have the MCD style roller blinds all throughout those are the ones you want they're the blackout blinds and well, I've got some good lighting here looks like the finish is going to be that ultra leather on the window treatments too and again the color is going to be kind of a kind of a brown color maybe some kind of a gray or a brown color sometimes I get colorblind okay in the rear you do have the theater seating uh, they are heat massage and of course light accenting uh, Thomas Paine badge right there and these are reclining and again the fabric is it's kind of like that blue jean fabric and uh, it's all stain resistant water resistant all the good stuff nice little cubby here look at that 110 outlet right there and you got another one right there imagine does a great job on their outlets and smart device charging stations and again huge storage on this floor plan you do have the recessed hinges that's a big deal nice selling feature and that huge big rear window there and the kitchen area huge uh, counter space on this floor plan add a leaf here undermounted farmer's sink and uh, it, the coach is a little dirty uh, the owners had not had a chance to wash it you're gonna see bugs on the front but this coach should shine up like a new penny Furion oven never been used three burner gas cooktop front burner usually is a high output for boiling water and it's never been used nice LED light accent that Furion does on their appliances microwave and I do show that their digital readouts working and it does have overhead light which I do have on I'm not sure if the coffee maker is coming with the coach or not looks pretty expensive uh, anyway I have to ask the owners about that oh nice sprayer faucet pull out sprayer faucet and I think there's a little thing a little runner here that rolls out and you can dry dishes stuff like that TV I believe is a 40 inch flat screen and it is on a pivoting arm you can pull it out pivot towards the rear of the sofa or obviously the boot dinette area here it's in lock position for storage for travel and again huge counter space in the kitchen area here oh the pots and pans drawer pretty cool what they do now little pegs here you can move little pegs anywhere you want so dishes don't rock around um, but that de definitely is a huge pots and pans drawer AC unit's going to be a 15,000 BTU AC unit. That's the upgrade. And it does have the quick dump feature. Open up the louver here. does a quick dump. Once you get the camper cooled off enough, close off this louver. And you are ducted AC all throughout. And I believe the BTUs on the furnace is going to be 30,000 BTUs. And that wood flooring, it's that residential grade plank wood flooring look. And uh, nice cleanup in your high traffic area. Uh, you do have 110 outlet right there in the boot dinette area. Oh, I almost forgot storage up underneath the boot dinette. Huge storage on each side. Got to point out the storage. Okay. Monitor panel here. Uh, nice light up. It automatically lit up when I came to see it. And you've got the, uh, the compass connected. Basically, you can hook up your smart device to the camper and whether you're away or you just want the convenience of uh, putting the lights on, turning the lights on, putting the awning out, put the slides out. You can do that all with your smart device. Pretty easy to figure out. And you can tell where you are on your levels. Pretty easy to figure out. Uh, ceiling lights, exterior lights. Let's turn those on. Water pump switch right there and your uh, water heater. And it's a gas uh, on-demand water heater. Power awning buttons right here. And this is your Furion. Uh, stereo and it's smart device ready Bluetooth all the good stuff 
I think I got everything in here. Let's go outside. Grab handles for each entry door and they're huge grab handles, not the little wimpy ones. Uh, that awning is gonna be a good 21 foot awning and it does have the center support in the middle. And again, that step above system, nice clean look. These are the steps you want. You do have the heavy duty stabilizer jacks. These are the ones you want, those electric ones. In my opinion, I think they're rinky dink. This is the enclosed and heated underbelly. You have forced duct heating in the underbelly. So you can go into colder seasons. Beautiful uh, 15 inch aluminum alloy wheels. And you do have nitro fill right there on the little gas cap tells you that or the little um, valve stem cap it's green uh, and I believe this is yes it is uh, to pop off the center hub and they are uh, easy lube axles so you can lube your axles and you do have the tire link uh, set up so you can tell where you are on your uh, tire pressure which is nice this is your on-demand water heater tankless water heater if you will service panel for your furnace which I believe is a 30,000 BTU furnace look at that outlets for the patio area and you can hook up cable here and probably put a mount somewhere around here or just put a table out here nice sprayer convenient sprayer and I'll show that on the back side that you can hook up right here Outside speakers, marine grade speakers. I've got all the exterior lights on. The LEDs are all working. Awning, excellent condition. Power awning. Kind of back up here, show off that uh, scheme on the outside. A beautiful front cap. It's a molded cap. And you do have the rock protector on the front here. And you do have that beautiful uh, Imagine badge right there with the light accenting right there. And that, that is a painted cap. That's what you want. It's a little dirty, see? Looks like little birds had a little fun pooping on it. But that should clean up like a new penny. You do have magnets on your cargo doors so they hold up real easy, nice and convenient. Those are the ones you want. Look at that aluminum framing. All aluminum frame sidewalls. And that is what you want also. Huge exterior storage or garage storage on this floor plan. And you do have these little motion detector lights and there's one inside in the living room right when you walk in uh, and if you see these little balls here on the lights that means it's motion detect motion activated 110 outlet right there too and slam latch baggage doors gotta love them and again your heavy duty stabilizer jacks you do have, I believe, two 20-pound LP tanks in this uh, underneath your cover, and you do have the power hitch on this. And let's see if we can get over this without busting my knees. And, of course, battery. The owner is not giving away the hitch. He does have the hitch system that he bought. When I go over here, I'll show it to you. Uh, they paid a pretty good penny for the hitch system and some extras. Uh, and I'll show that but uh, if you're interested in it, maybe you can work something out with the owner And how I got the unloaded vehicle weight right here UVW 6060 pounds and if you end up buying this camper There's the VIN number Give that to your bank. There you go Show the water hookups area here and again magnets to hold up your doors All right, it's your hookup here hook up cable from the top going down and you got 110 hookups right here battery disconnect saves you on your battery when you're not using it or having it in storage this is going to be your solar uh, monitoring right here you do have a 165 watt solar panel on the roof and this is going to be your hookups uh, you can uh, basically follow these directions right there winterizing hook it up to get set up for city or hook uh, for setting up for your fresh water holding tank uh, which is going to be 52 gallon fresh water, 90 gallon gray, which is huge, uh, and then uh, I believe it's 45 gallon black tank, which is your toilet. Uh, this is going to be, I believe, your black tank sewer flush right here. You don't have to drag a hose inside uh, to clean out your toilet tank and hot and cold uh, outside shower, and also the sprayer 
for hooking up on the front and this is going to be your your monitor panel for your uh, tire pressure monitoring system which is nice this is the switch for turning on those front cap lights let's turn that off another motion light right here oh and the owners get this does come with the camper um, uh, uh, water pressure regulator that's actually a really nice one and uh, yeah potable water fill or your freshwater gravity fill here again uh, 52 gallon nice scare light or hookup light service light whatever you want to call it uh, I'm sorry that one fill this is your black tank sewer flush right here rinses out your toilet this one that white one right there that's your city water connection hookup all right and this is where you hook up your sewer pretty easy to figure out and your gate valves the handles are right there but the valves are up underneath the underbelly and protected from the elements and again this camper is rated at 15 degrees beautiful fiberglass finish it's a high gloss fiberglass finish and again your 15 inch aluminum alloy wheels beautiful there's your imagined badge right there all the decals excellent 100 percent condition i would put this up any brand new one all day long tinted windows 80 percent tint on all your windows and i did get up on the roof and check it everything checks off this is the hitching that the owner has and uh, he's got a little honey wagon honey pot right there that was pretty expensive uh, again they paid a ton of money for this stuff and some chairs real nice patio chairs uh, again if you're interested in them maybe you can work something out with the owner 30 amp service and uh, you do have marine style 30 amp cord and you have the little blue light here which i love shows you that you do have shore power coming in in case you have any electrical issues look at that ladder to get up on your full walk-on roof and you do have um, yard set up for uh, or prepped for a backup camera there, wireless backup camera. And you do have spare, spare tire with carrier. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful trailer. And unfortunately, the owners really have not used it. So, uh, yeah. So if you're looking at a brand new one, really consider this one. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful trailer. 1 through 10, 10 being the best, it's a 10 plus. All right, I think I got everything. If I didn't, I do apologize, especially to the, to the owners. Uh, if you want to come and see the camper, call the number on the ad. You always deal directly with the owner, or you can call 502-645-3124. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you have a comment, leave it below. Uh, and if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.